Hi, this is George Cow. Today I want to talk with you about the important virtue of faith. And by faith here, I don't mean belief in a deity. What I mean by faith here is trust in a positive future that you cannot yet see, or belief in a higher and good reality that you cannot yet measure, that we and the scientific community cannot yet measure, okay? And of course, you are blessed sometimes with the evidence of faith uh, throughout your life as you see that, wow, the things that you thought were supposed to be bad things that happened in your life actually turned out to have some blessings, or you have some kind of enlightening, inspiring experience that helps you to see that, yes, indeed, there is a positive reality beyond what we can typically touch with our five senses, that the universe is somehow conspiring for, in your life, for your highest good. So I want to give you one example that you can use, which is um, a lot of you that I'm talking to happen to be business owners. Um, you are launching product and services. And so let's say that you launch uh, a service or a product or a program and you don't get as many signups as you hoped you did, you would, okay? Maybe you were operating under some kind of illusion or fantasy that you would get lots of signups by just doing this kind of launch formula and you didn't get that. So you have a couple of responses. One response is you can, um, you can uh, blame yourself for saying, oh, I must not be smart enough. One is you can blame the universe or God for not being good to you enough. Okay, and third, uh, um, you could you could blame the formula or your marketing coach for not giving you good enough advice, or all right, or you can bring faith into the picture and reframe the situation so that you can be balanced and happy and optimistic again. Which, by the way, is absolutely necessary for business success. Okay, because did you know that the vast majority, and I've heard statistics including 90% of, and, and, it's, and it's actually reasonable to me, and by the way, there's my sweet little dog, Buddy. Buddy, he's always busy when I'm filming him. Um, upwards of 90%, sometimes maybe even more, of business launches, marketing launches, product launches do not succeed. They so-called fail or they don't get the kind of results that they had the fantasy of, of, of getting. So what do you do? Do you quit and do you blame and therefore get into a negative state and negative relationships, etc.? Or do you bring faith in and reframe it and reclaim your balance and your strength and your optimism? Well, as you can imagine, the true success formula is to reclaim your balance and your optimism and learn from whatever experience you just had so that you can launch differently and better perhaps next time and learn even more, right? And so the reframe, bringing faith into whatever challenge you have allows you to reframe and say, all right, first of all, number one, there is a positive reality, a much far greater and, and more good, with a capital G, good reality that I cannot see right now. And that somehow the future, my future, is so much more bright and optimistic than I can even imagine right now. Okay, so that's like the number one um, principle, I think, of faith. And secondly, is to say, well then, how can I reframe this challenge and this difficulty, this hardship, this struggle, as something that is actually for the higher good in my life? And so with a failed launch, you could say, ah, it could, could have been that if a lot of people had signed up for my thing, I wouldn't have been ready to deliver it uh, in a quality fashion, and I would have been greatly embarrassed, and my reputation would have, been, would have been bad in the market, and that would have set my business back many years. So it could, be, it could have been that. Another possibility could be that um, your launch, your marketing materials really wasn't that good. You thought it was good because you spent a lot of energy on it, so you had this bias in your mind that it was good, but maybe it wasn't that good and you would actually have been embarrassed if it, would, if it had gone and gotten more visibility, right? And uh, another possibility is that actually you, uh, the universe was building your muscles, your muscles of productivity 
and of resilience and bouncing back, which is going to be super important for a later challenge in your business and in your life. So those are three, just three reframes where you bring faith in and if you, if you bring that in and maybe you talk with somebody else who is encouraging in your life, you can reclaim your balance, reclaim your optimism, learn from that situation and therefore f use faith to bring you to a higher level instead of being bogged down by the difficulty or the struggle. So I hope that is helpful. I'm always open to your comments and your questions and until the next video, I wish you faith.